is my distinct pleasure to announce Mr. and Mrs. Marcus Jackson. Tabitha, the baby, I'm so glad you're my wife. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, baby, I'm so glad to be your wife. And I hope we grow old together and you're the best <laughs> thing that ever happened to me. Tabitha, baby. Baby, are you okay? Are you alright? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I think I'm pregnant. You think you're pregnant? Oh, okay. If you are, that'll be fine. We'll be okay. Mrs. Jackson, unfortunately, our records indicate that you're threatening a miscarriage. However, you will need to be in our office within two days in receiving this letter. Dr. Carmen King. Marcus, baby, are you going to work tomorrow? You know rent is due next week. I'm tired of working. You want somebody to work, go get your ass a job. Tired. Tired. I have no job because you told me to quit my job. Go get your ass a job and want me to work. You go work. You told me to quit my Clock job. Clock in. Bitch, you get a job. Oh, really? Really. Where are you going? Where are you going, Marcus? Where are you going? Don't leave. Don't leave. Marcus, get up. It's time for school. Marcus Jr., didn't you hear me? Go get your sisters ready. I'm about to go fix breakfast. Michaela, Kennedy, y'all get up, it's time for school. Zari, y'all come on, I'm not gonna tell y'all no more.
I need you to walk them to school. But Ma, I always do. All you do is lay around the house all day with these no good crack kid men and dropping babies like it's a full time job. You don't talk to me like that. I'm a grown ass woman. I do what I want to do. You do what I say. Ma, but look at my shoes. All the men you deal with can't afford to buy your kids no shoes, no clothes, or nothing. You're taking care of them with our welfare check, and it don't make no sense, no sense at all. Boy, get your ass out of here before I punch you in your shit. I swear you act just like your daddy. What daddy? I never seen my daddy. I don't even know my daddy, but I seen everyone else's daddy. Come on, y'all. Hey, what's up? Hey, Tam, I got a dub of Powerful 15. All right. Thank you. Oh, bro, look at you. Girls, man. What are you telling me about? Hey, man. Look at this one shoe. They look like they came from dumpster. But no, it looked like he got shot in the toe with him. Holy moly. Yo, mama wasn't complaining last night, bro. But I'm talking about my mama, bro. What you gonna do about it? Yes. That's what I'm gonna do about it. Cotton. <laughs> man, we gonna get some more shoes. Man, I don't know, man. I was trying to tell my mama that morning before she slapped me in my face. There got to be something that I could do. I'm trying to wear these old ass shoes, man. Bro, I think I have a pair of shoes that you can have. I have about ten pair of shoes sitting in my closet. I appreciate it, Jeremy. Well, my mama gets a welfare check for all of us, and she's, she's supposed to buy her shoes and clothes, and all she does is buy drugs all day and smoke with her no good ass men. So what you gonna do? I don't know. That's why sometimes I wish I knew my dad. Hey, have you talked to your mother about it? No. Have you ever seen your dad before? No. Well, maybe something will break very soon. All right. All right. Yeah, man, whatever you need, we got you. If they come through, I'll be looking for you. All right. Hey man, look at your shoe. I can put you on. They make some real money. Man, I don't know. I'm scared to do something like that. But it's very simple. All you gotta do is what I say, and you're good. So what I gotta do? Now take this and go around the corner. Son, you get off these corners, it's very dangerous out here. Look, old man, you need to mind your own business and stay out of mine. Son, I'm telling you what I know. You need to go back to school and get your education. You don't want to end up like me, do you? Look, bag man, leave me the hell alone. Do you actually think I will end up like you? That's what you do. I'm out here trying to make it happen. You're going to wish you had listened to me one day. I see you walking these creatures down on these corners. 
It's dangerous out here. But your mother like this? Look, you don't know me, and I don't know you. But one thing I do know is that you're getting on my damn nerves. You don't know my mama, and you don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. All you see is me. And you're just a homeless old man wanting someone to have pity on you. See, that's where you're wrong. I don't want you to have pity on me. I may be homeless, but it's because of my situation. I was hard-headed just like you. But one thing I found out is that a hard head makes a soft ass. I left my wife when she was pregnant with my child. I had a good wife, a good job, and a nice home. But I was the one that was scared of responsibilities and turned to drugs. That's why I am where I am today. What the about you being out here on these streets? Miss Crackhead, look. My mama has a house full of kids. And she doesn't buy her shoes, clothes, and nothing. So I had to go out and get it myself. She doesn't care anyway. I understand. But you're going by it the wrong way. This is a dangerous game. I gotta go. Oh. And by the way, I'm not a crackhead. I'm a homeless man. Hit the block. Don't forget Red's money, man. You know you owe him. Yeah. I'm short about 600 too. Man, you better do something. You know if he can't get to you, he's gonna get to your family. And I know you don't want that. Oh, hell no. I can't have that man bother my family. I'll take that dude down first. Feel me? Yeah, I'll see you, man. Man, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Look, man, I've been at this a long time, and I know Red gonna try me. I just gotta be ready for whatever goes down. Let's go. I gotta make these sales, bro. Man, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Crazy. Uh-oh, okay. What's up? Got my money? Uh, I'm gonna have it for you later tonight. Bro, if you don't have my money at 12, we're gonna see who's gonna live to tell this story. Uh, look, I'm finna head to the house. You know, you better do something real quick, fast, and hurry, man. Red, that look too good. <laughs> I can only do what I can, man. But trust and believe. I'll take them out before I let them touch my family. You feel me? Yeah. All right, man. your life now. I try to tell you these streets are what you want. They don't care about you. Son, you need to get your ass a job. Listen, Santa Drugs only want to see you two places. Yeah? Where? Hill or jail? Which one do you want? 
Neither one. So let me ask you a question. Why do you continue on these streets if you don't have to? It's all I know, really. My mama would spend all the money on drugs and all the different dudes that'd be in the house, they would eat all the food after smoking and snorting drugs the night before. I dropped out of school to take care of my sisters. I was too young to get a real job. And this dude turned me on to selling. I've been at it ever since. I do understand. But I want you to know one thing. Your mother isn't perfect. Instead of criticizing her and talking down to her, you should have been a man in the house. Man, she wouldn't let me. My mama would have different dudes in the house almost every other night. I don't even think she knows who our dads are. I've never seen my father, and I'm 19 years old. You know your father. You might have never seen him, but you know him. Mr. Homeless Man, I don't know my father. I never seen the bastard. Yes, you have. Look, you don't know me, so stop trying to figure me out. I'm not trying to figure you out. I know you better than you know yourself. Yeah? Well, well since you know me, then tell me then. Aren't you Marcus Jr.? Yeah. How did you know? Because... I'm Marcus Sr.